So it's October right now, so it's getting real late in the season. So unfortunately, because I'm new to renovating my lawn this year, you can see some of my other videos. Um, I never got a chance to use the humic acid, and I'm gonna break away and talk a little bit about the benefits in the lawn. But I wanted to show you how I applied it using this sprayer, but it would be similar to other sprayers. Um, but I think um, you know it's worth spending a few minutes to see how it works with this one. And maybe this is something you might wanna consider for yourself. These aren't cheap. Um, but I would imagine if you buy something like this, you're going to have it for quite a while. So I think the longevity might make it worth it. So what you're seeing here is not actually a scene from Willy Wonka's Chocolate Factory. I wanted to give you something interesting to look at, but you didn't miss anything. You're going to see all this in the rest of the video. But first, what is humic acid? Humic acid is essentially decomposed plants, animals, organic matter from millions of years ago that almost turned into coal, but it's a little bit before that. So it's t it tends to be a little bit softer and it's able to be mined and we can use it in our agricultural purposes. The second thing is, do you really want to use humic acid and does it work? Well, the answer is it has been proven that it worked, but the reason this controversy is because it's never really been tested in lawns. Now it's tested by homeowners, but as far as scientifically proven, it was tested in agricultural uses, but that doesn't mean it doesn't work. In fact, it's just the opposite. That testing proved that it did work. So in short, you do want to use humic acid, but it doesn't work in the way normal products do. Humic acid unlocks nutrients and trace elements in your soil. It has that magical ability to actually make them more available to your lawn. That's half of the story. The other half is that anything you add to your lawn, humic acid also makes more available. So if you put fertilizer down, a lot more of it will get absorbed by your grass if you use humic acid. Now that's why farmers use it, because if they are putting down products, they want to get the full value or even better value from less product. And that's why they use it and it's proven that it works. So the short answer is you do want to use it on your lawn and it really can give you some benefits to help unlock those minerals, trace elements, and also make better use of your fertilizer. So let's get started. So the one bucket there on the right is just for mixing the product. The bucket that I'm opening now actually contains the humic acid. It came originally in a bag, but the bag was breaking open, so I put it into this Home Depot bucket. But this is different. Most people, when they see humic acid, it's usually in liquid form. This is actually a dehydrated humic acid that you can purchase online, and it's very concentrated. It is expensive. That one bucket cost almost $150, but that's enough in that bucket to do, I'm told, two acres of product. Property. So it will last quite a while and it really saves me buying hundreds of pounds of product. So now you can see that what I need to do is mix it up thoroughly. So I don't want to just put this in my sprayer because it might clog from debris and material. So I'm going to mix it up thoroughly before I put it in. So to mix it even more thoroughly, I'm actually using what I believe is a concrete mortar mixer on the end of my drill. Now there's better mixers out there, but this does the job for me and I had it on hand so it was easy to use and I'm just going to spin this up. Now this is a pretty unique product. When you mix this up, this water becomes as dark as could be. And the interesting thing is that even if you only had a teaspoon of the product, it's the same level of darkness. So it's very concentrated and you really don't need a lot. What I mixed up here was probably about two to three pounds of product. I wasn't super specific and you don't have to be with humic acid. You really can't overdose, but you don't want to waste it either. So I mix this pretty thoroughly for a minute or two and all I'm doing here is just rinsing my mixing tool off so that it doesn't stain it permanently. Now I'm just going to add that concentrated solution to this mobile sprayer. This uses a battery and it has more than enough charge to do my whole property. Now I will do a separate review on this sprayer later, but all you really need to know is that it has a 12 gallon capacity and it should work great for this application. Even that single T-Jet nozzle in the front will spray about a nine foot swath, so that's pretty good coverage. Now finally, I'm just adding water to top it up to the full 12 gallon capacity. Now that it's all topped up, I'm just gonna rinse off the excess and we're gonna start to spray.
So I thought I'd wrap up this video with a short review of this sprayer. So this sprayer is made by a company called Turfax and it's very unusual compared to most that are on the market. It's nice because it's compact. It has a 12 gallon capacity, which is pretty respectable. And it has a nice build quality. As I circle around here with the pictures, you can see that it has a full stainless frame. It has grease fittings, which is pretty unusual on just about anything nowadays. And I'd say overall, it's a really good build quality. It's certainly not an expensive, but when you do the math about building your own, I don't know that it's actually much cheaper to build your own. And I like the idea that this is a, certainly a more stable product. It's been around for a while and I don't have to engineer every part. The one drawback is it only has a single nozzle on the front. I didn't think it could spray that far, but in fact it has about a nine foot swath. The other thing I love is look at the convenience of this switch. You have an off on switch right there to turn on the sprayer whenever you want. And look at that's pretty cool. And those are standard T-Jets and you can change them with whatever size you want. And this sprayer runs off of a battery and it has enough power to run for about eight hours, which is really great. And what you're seeing here is a really unique feature on this sprayer, that in addition to the T-Jet in front, you also can switch between the T-Jet and this pretty cool tool right here. It's kind of like a pressure washer. And in this demo right here, I'm gonna show you that I went and sprayed this garden bed here. Now I think I had humic acid in here when I did it, so you can see it pretty well. But it's really great because you can pull this out whenever you want, flip a valve, and now you can spot spray this would be really handy for weed control or any type of application like that. So I think this is pretty cool and that wouldn't be something that would be very easy to do if you were building this yourself. So I hope you found this video helpful. Humic Acid is a pretty cool product and I like this sprayer a lot too. So I think together they were really a good combination. But I hope you learned something. It really was confusing for me and I felt like I tried to put the information together in a format that I could understand and hopefully it was valuable to you too. So if you liked it, please give me a thumbs up, comment below, and also subscribe to my channel if you're not already for more videos coming up. Thank you so much for watching.